wash properly. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Lani Good. If this is your first time at my channel, then make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you like, make sure you share it, all that good shit. Okay, so, like I said, welcome y'all. Welcome, so I've been meaning to make this video for absolutely ages because it's probably the number one thing I get asked on Instagram. <laughs> All your, all your people, all you care about is my body. But yeah, I get asked a lot about my, um, my body. Um, you know, what work have I had done? Listen, I wish I was rich, because if I was rich, I would have Kylie Jennered this bitch. I would have my nose done, I would have my, oh actually, I do have my boobs done. I would have a smaller waist, I would snatch that shit right up. You know? <laughs> um yeah i would probably have a bigger i mean i shouldn't say this because it's just like bad like to encourage girls to do stuff but i'm just awful be people just like being who they want to be and looking how they want now okay i don't want to talk forever so i'm gonna like I w i'm thinking where do i start where do i start i was always insecure about my tits um i always thought they were really ugly and really hideous so um what I did is I went to my mum and I, when I was 18, I was still a virgin these times. I'd kissed boys and stuff and I'd done like a few bits. I mean, nothing, ugh, I know these, they, is there like levels? Levels, uh, is it levels? They talk about it in movies, like, have you gone to level eight? I can't remember. I hadn't done anything too wowza, by the way. I hadn't like, I hadn't done anything too sexual. I'd done bits, but not, not bits like that not bits nothing all i'm saying is nothing to do with my vagina nothing to do with my mouth okay i'd kiss boys and they'd fill me up that's about it that, yeah that's about it sorry i was very insecure and i think this is the main reason that nothing that wowza had happened so i was like i said i was really insecure about my my breasts so i went to my mom and i just said to her like I will never ever be with a man because I don't like the way I look. I'm really insecure about my breasts. I had really big areolas. I just, look, I don't want anyone to like, I don't want to put anyone down. So if anybody has really big areolas, I, listen, girl, if you can love you for you, just do that. So I don't want anyone to feel a type of way because of what I'm saying. But just me personally, they were massive and they were. They weren't just big, they were ginormous so um and they were really saggy they were just really unattractive breasts um in my opinion so my mom just said to me go to the nhs and just meet with the gp and ask him for advice of um what private companies you could go to to get your breasts done so i went i did a i went to get a query from my gp um he referred me to a hospital but i thought i was going for advice if i'm honest um so I went to some plastic surgery place in, um, God, this hair in my mouth. Some plastic surgery place in, um, God, Hampstead? Hampstead, 100% Hampstead. I went to a plastic surgery place in Hampstead and the doctor looked at me, the nurse looked at me first. I spoke to her and the doctor came in. And then the doctor looked at me and like literally, whilst he was looking at them, he was just like, okay, when do you want to have surgery? This is on the NHS. I was like, um, pardon? I was like, pardon? Um, I couldn't believe what I was hearing, you know? I was thinking, you're gonna give me free, free boob job. Okay, cut long story short. Um, mom didn't want me to have the surgery straight away because I was doing my A-levels, so we had to wait until I got to uni, la 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 and um all that stuff i always had to have counseling beforehand to make sure that i wouldn't my expectations were realistic like having your breast done isn't going to change your life um but it depends how sh how shallow you having surgery is for you some people don't love themselves some people don't love themselves so when they have surgery it's like they just don't love themselves so they have to fix a lot of things about them but with me i just didn't like my boobs so yeah 
anyway we waited a while i was so excited i literally counted down literally for months i told everybody i was gonna have a boob job literally i was like so excited um i didn't even like talk to any guys during that time because i was thinking i'm gonna be upgraded i'm gonna be upgraded in the in about in, in a minute i'm gonna be upgraded and to be honest i was like when the day came i can't i can remember being like going in the, in the theatre waiting, you can't have weave, you can't have makeup, nothing. So I had all that off. Also, they told me that I was a bit overweight, so I had to lose weight before it. I'm this skinny, I, I lost too much weight. I was so skinny. I'm gonna put a picture if I can. I was so skinny, I was literally waiting in the waiting room. You wear, wear all this stuff. Um, if you can see the picture. Mm. And then, um, I think I only have a picture of my second one. So if I show you a picture, that's my second one. But yeah, um, yes, yeah, so I'm in the waiting room and then they, yeah, they take me in there. They sedate, they sedate you so you fall asleep and then you wake up and it's mad. You feel pain, but it's, you have, you're on painkillers. So you just feel this fullness. You feel, cause you know, they cut you open there. So you feel this pain, but you feel this fullness it's nuts um they gave me implants so that my breast wouldn't sag because the implants naturally give you more volume and then they um cut my areolas um i had to wait a few days to see them but when i went to get clean by the nurse i saw my tits and don't get me wrong they were amazing they were a, a big improvement to what i had before but they weren't um they weren't like freaking you know porn stars they they weren't Oh, can I, I don't know how to say this. They weren't the dream breasts, you know, that people, girls would dream about. My, okay, so how it works. Okay, I'm not sure if it works like this in general, but how, what I have discovered about my situation and probably a lot of people's situation is the reason the NHS can give like free surgeries is because a lot of doctors and junior doctors in particular need training. So they train on volunteers and kind of, I, was needed basically if i went at a different time and there wasn't anybody who needed training in that field i would have got rejected to have my breast done but they needed me they needed me basically at that point for some one of the junior doctors to see how to do a breast augmentation so or just, just surgery in general so i was um a guinea pig to somebody brand new and my breasts were fine but my nipples were just different sizes I don't know I don't feel like they cared because I feel like why did they give me different nipple sizes anyway I rocked those breasts for like five years and I was so grateful so happy so happy because there was such an improvement but in the back of my mind obviously I would have rather had nipples that were the same size so then when I got a bit older I was about 26 25 26 I just thought, F it, I'm gonna get a loner. Went to the bank, got a loner, and I thought, you know what? I deserve to have breasts of a goddess, bad be breasts, and I'm going to have them. So I got a loan out, couple, a lot of grands actually, a lot. I went private, I flew to Germany. Listen, I went in there and I was like, I want them twice as big as what they were. I don't know what I, I wanted to be the baddest but then I also wanted my nipples smaller but the way it works is if you want bigger breasts and your nipples smaller there's opposing pressure so the breasts are bigger so your skin is stretched for the bigger breasts but then your nipples are made smaller and they sew around your nipples your areola sorry so there's pressure around them so there's opposing pressure pressure going like with with the areolas and there's pressure with your breasts so it's like they might like not pop but i feel like the areola could have just like opened because there's two different pools going on inwards and outwards so he told me i couldn't go way bigger but i could go bigger i'm so grateful he told me i couldn't go bigger because not way i went bigger but but like two cups but i'm so happy he didn't make me like four cups bigger if i was bigger than what i am I would be, what the, like, honestly, what would I be? Like, that would be insane. I need to show you all what my breasts look like in a bra, because this isn't, you can't, even if I do this for you. Okay, you can it's almost like the implant is almost pushed out. 
and you can see when you have support you can see the roundness um maybe that's better oh god sorry about that oh god i'm gonna have to edit this so bad can you okay can you see that so if i wore a bra because that's what a bra will do literally if i wore a bra it it'll put it pushes the implant together and you can see the roundness of the implant so there's some outfits or some bras that will make my breasts look more fake than others so you can see how fake they look so i paid like a couple grand for those God. yeah so you can see how fake they look i felt paid a couple um a couple bills for those a couple grand overall it doesn't take a long time to recover the recovery process is nothing like it takes two weeks you have to eat um really healthy but initially you have to eat liquids but it, it, it's it's not a big deal it's not something people should be scared of it, it's the recovery is absolutely nothing and it's just nothing it's not a big deal i will say this having fake breasts you are always aware that they are fake because you can't just walk around or think that you are like everybody else you can't just walk around and think like somebody can friggin like you can't just get in the fight and someone can't but just punch you in your chest you can't have leakage mate nah you can't just think okay calm like when i'm you know having intimate moments with my lover or my boyfriend that he's just gonna throw me around dash me around grips nah it don't work like that you know i have the amount of times i've had to remind a partner um yo my breasts are fake they they can pop like you know calmed like can we just can we just like not like can you not try and kill me in this session you know like if someone's lying on top of you like can you not like freaking try and squash my breast so they'll pop because this is the thing a, a implant can pop and then all the like juice or whatever it is inside that can just go into your skin into your body and become gangrene because it will just rot in your skin some um breast implants i mean i've salt water so they're all right when they do that but i i can't be having mine do that like i can't i can't i can't have my breast pop but that's not even something that i want to consider or think about i can't be having my breast pop what the fuck the fuck I, I can't be having my breast pop this is i'm not about that life i like that would absolutely scare me to death so um <laughs> yeah i'm not i'm not here for that so you just have to be careful when you when you live with them you can live a normal life but just you can't just be someone can't just be like roughing nah someone can't be too rough with you absolutely not but in day in your day-to-day -day, people are not rough with you but if someone just wants to no you can't be oh on my breasts all right because they'll pop because they're fake so oh my god did i just wipe my eyebrow okay cool it's still there so guys look it was probably the best decision i ever made having my breasts done i love them now they're amazing um i'll show you a picture of them with our fresh if i find it um i hope it popped up um i love my breasts um they're probably one of my best my best features i'm very confident i have a scar around the areola but i rock that scar and i love the scar and i just feel like i have beautiful breasts um the breasts that i always deserved um so i would recommend anybody if they're really insecure about their breasts get your boobs done girl get your boobs done become a bad bee you know join me we can be baddies unite if you have naturally great breasts and you're a lucky lucky girl um i feel like some of you are gonna ask me if i would do any other surgeries i tried to get my nose done i bet you some of you are gonna roll your eyes i did i tried to get my nose done i actually made an appointment two appointments not one and i went to talk to a doctor uh why did the doctor tell me nah fam he did he told me nah fam your breasts are great and sorry your nose is great and the other doctor told me the same thing so because guess what surgeons can say no to you anyway guys i just want to say thank you for listening to my video if i didn't hit on all the points you wanted me to hit on just dm me or just comment below and i'll talk about whatever you want to talk, me to talk about hey. <laughs>
So make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share. Until next time. Mm -hmm.